people have talked off the one who cannot be talked off in various ways they have talked off him as a lover they have talked off him as a creator a destroyer but the most charming description of him is him as a parent as a father or as a mother and that is why even amongst saints you find most references to him as that of father or mother yes some people have called him lover also some have called him destroyer also some have given him other colorful names beautiful names but the most prevalent name is father or mother there is a reason you look at what he is doing you would find that among other things mostly he is engaged in parenting he is engaged in having things complete their cycles grow up 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 even death is the next step in growing up grow up grow up grow up grow up grow up grow up die grow up grow up grow up die so even if you call him a destroyer he is still a parent he is helping you grow by dying there is great joy in parenting there is great joy in helping the other grow and seeing the other grow be a parent even to your lover be a parent even to your husband even to your wife if you are a man be a father to your wife if you are a wife be a mother to your husband that is godly are you getting it be a father to your friend be a mother to your pet and obviously that is far beyond physical procreation obviously that is far beyond social institutions of marriage etc you are a parent irrespective of who the other is your very touch is a touch of life your very touch is a healing touch you touch someone and he grows you know what is growth growth is expression you know what is expressed the truth is expressed that is what is called being a parent you touch the other one and his heart comes to be expressed that is godly that is the only way anybody ever grows that is the only way anybody ever gains maturity by parental touch by the touch of god by the touch of absolute touch the other one and help him gain maturity that is the joy of living that is in some sense the only way of living and the more we talk of it the more it appears foolish to escape away to some corner of the city 
or to a village or to a desert or a mountain to any secluded place and hide there look at the one you are worshiping you are saying you are going to hide in that cave so that you may worship the one you are worshiping remains engaged he is engaged with you with you with you with you with you he is always in relationship god is in a million relationships million is such a small number hmm why must then you abdicate your relationships help the other grow helping the other grow is not a matter of pride you will be skinned alive the other does not want to change the other does not want to grow you try to help the other grow you will realize that you firstly have to help yourself so it is a parallel thing you remaining what you are your intention will merely remain an intention you will want to help the other the other will retort and you will find that you two are reacting and all the help has gone out of the window you go to the other and say darling tonight you will grow and that night you have the great dance of destruction she proves to you that she is already mother goddess she needs no growth to live through that dance of destruction first of all you will need to grow that's why i said that it will be a parallel journey are you getting it hmm apparently it is quite an ego trip to be a parent to be a helper it is not it is actually a destruction of ego to really help the other you will have to come down from your high palace to the low grounds the other is not prepared to go up the other is saying i am all right where i am you come down to my place now you are a resident of the high skies the other does not come to the high skies she stays where she is so you go there and get beaten up it has to be a parallel thing you will have to parallelly grow along with the other person now you know what i meant when i said that it's either everybody together or nobody because you and the world are one as you attempt to help the world you are parallelly helping yourself remaining what you are the world will remain what it is and just to help you through your night of destruction 
may I just say that the joy of seeing the other grow far surpasses all the troubles that you face. Raising a kid is a nightmare. But that nightmare is very, very bearable, indeed joyful, when you really see what you are doing. The fruits are there. The fruits are daily there. And if you do not see them daily, have some patience. The fruits will appear. People talk of the pleasures of ego. The pleasures of ego are nothing compared to the great pleasure of seeing a human being blossom in front of you. That is the greatest of pleasures. That is so great a pleasure that ego cannot handle it. You have not merely modified. You have not merely transformed. You have really given birth. You are now God. You are now Mother God. There is no pleasure bigger than this. Hmm? Great pleasures, absolutely great pleasures are called joy. Yes? So those of you who are addicted to some kind of pleasure or the other, and there are many young people here. Those of you who are seekers of pleasure, to them I am saying, this pleasure exceeds any pleasure that you know of. If you are with somebody, then there is pleasure. in being a lover to that person. Have that pleasure. All right, fine. You want to have the pleasure of the other's company, the other's smell, the other's body, the other's voice, the other's looks. Have that pleasure. But the pleasure of being a parent to the other, don't miss out on that one. Be a father to your girlfriend and don't mind if she minds it. Be a father to your father. Help him be born. <laughs> 